Question number 32 says 150 workers were engaged to finish a job in a certain number of days. Okay. Four workers dropped out on second day, four more workers dropped out on third day, and so on. Okay. It took eight more days to finish the work. Find the number of days in which the work was completed. That's what we are interested in. In which the work was completed. Not the initially decided days, but in which the work was completed. How will we handle this? So this is related to some work and some people involved in doing the work. If you observe, how are the calculations being done over here? So if there are 150 workers assigned to a particular task, they work for some, let's say 10 days. So total number of man days can be counted. 150 workers into 10 days will be 1500 man days of work. Let's say if you have less number of workers, the number of days will increase. If you want more workers, the number of days will decrease, right? That's what you can easily calculate. So net total work is roughly 1500 man days. That's what you count. If you engage 500 workers, the number of days that will require will be three. That's a simple calculation, right? Although in real life, there are other situations also that this work has to be finished before, this work has to be finished before. But in general, in general, in these type of questions, in simple mathematics, what we'll encounter is number of man days, right? Okay, so let's compare the number of man days initially decided and finally obtained. 150 workers were engaged to finish a job in a certain number of days. Let end days were decided initially. Initially, okay. So total work, total man days, you can say, total man days required will be, required will be N times 150. That was plan, right? That was the plan, 150 N. But what happened was actually actual man days will be how many actual man days will be although this and this has to be equal but actual man days on the first day on the first day you had complete 150 on the second day four dropped so 150 then you had 146 then you had 142 and so on how many terms will be here eight more days were taken to solve to finish the work so this is n plus eight terms is that okay? Yes. What does this become? So you know the number of terms. And do you see that this is a arithmetic progression? Having common difference minus 4. So number of terms is n plus 8 upon 2. Yes. 2 into this which is 300. Plus number of terms minus 1 which is n plus 8 minus 1. Times common difference which is minus 4. This is what you get. Let's simplify this. This is n plus 8. Multiply this 2. This is 150 minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 2. So this becomes minus 2n and minus 14. This is what you get. So n plus 8 is okay. And this is 136 minus 2n. If you can observe this carefully, this is what you get. What is happening? The number of man days required and the actual number of mandy should be equal. Let's equate them and solve for the value of n. So therefore 150 n is equal to this product n plus 8 times 136 minus 2 n and what does this become? This is minus 2 n square 136 n minus 16 n is 120 n and you have 8 into 136 okay plus 8 into 136 is what you get that's what you have right Let's bring everything on the left hand side. This is 2n square plus 30n minus 8 into 136 is equal to 0. This is what you get, right? Now I have to factorize 8 into 136 into 2. Factorize this. 8 into 136 into 2 which is 16 into 136. Okay. 136 can further be factorized as. Let us write 16 as it is. 136 can be divided by 4 and this becomes 3. 4, 34, right? This is what you are getting, yes? 16 times 4 is 64, this is 34. 64 and 34, the difference is 30, yes? So 2n square plus 64n minus 34n minus 8 into 136 is equal to 0. This is what I can write it as, yes? 2n will come out common from here. What remains is n plus 32. Minus 34 will come out common from here. 16 into 4, 64 will remain yes or no yes or 34 34 comes out common n plus 32 remains yes 32 will remain not 64 32 will remain this is what you get this is equal to 0 that tells me the value of n will be 
minus 32 or the value of n will be 34 upon 2 which tells me n will be equal to 17. Now the answer is not n. How many days actually took to solve this, uh, to complete this work? So number of actual days required is equal to n plus 8 which is 17 plus 8, 17 plus 8 which is 25. That's my answer for this question as you can see over here with this calculation. Yes. And with this we come to the conclusion of this miscellaneous exercise as well as the chapter sequence and series. Till the next video all the best.